on the side of the road this first blowout before we get into this video i just want to remind you guys june 3rd Late Night Sprayed is going to be having their grand opening, and it's an event that you don't want to miss. Randy's going to be raffling off lots and lots of cool prizes, a full car wrap. He's going to be raffling off stripes, PPF, full detail paint correction, just a bunch of awesome cool prizes, and there's going to be a lot of fun stuff going on there. They're going to have vendors, all kinds of stuff. It's going to be fun, and that's where we're going to unveil the GT500's new color. So hope to see you guys out there. But let's get back to the video. On the side of the road, this first blowout. Yeah, but there's black smoke coming out from under the trailer. What happened? The black smoke came out from under the trailer. And I said, where in the world is that black smoke coming from? And then I seen a piece of tire fly out. I dodged it. And then the big piece of tire, the whole and round piece. You do it right here. I got lucky I didn't mess this wheel up. I know you did. You might have messed the back side up though. So we're gonna go get a tire. Yeah. Here. You shredded that Here. bitch up. Yeah. Supply came in clutch out with the old and with the new. It was actually the exact same size, everything, six lug. Let's just hope she bolts up. We'll get back on the road. Do it. I'm just kidding, I got this. I've changed the tire on the side of the road by myself. I just hate doing this stuff on the side of the road. Now we got a spare wheel, but we're gonna check back in and I will basically show you guys how to avoid having this issue in the future. Well, why didn't you avoid it then? What? Nothing. What'd you say? Didn't why didn't I avoid it now? I was waiting for this to happen so I can make this video. Okay. Yeah. Y'all are so funny. So that doesn't happen. Okay, stop. I can't wait to say, don't tell me that damn tire got air in it. It's all done. It fit. Look at that. This is how you know it's time for new tires. Now, this is just basically a, a good sign that you had a very bad day. Pop the beat on this. Let's eat it. garage art what i'm gonna do now is just take off the tire off the spare tire that we got and then throw that tire on the black wheel so the car trailer will be for sale if anybody's in the market looking for an eight and a half by 24 foot car trailer let me know because this one will be for sale 
I was kind of waiting until I got my new trailer before I sold this one because I just didn't want to be out of a trailer or have that like little short time frame of not having a trailer. So I did order one. So right now I'm in the process of waiting for it to be built. But I will keep you guys posted on trailer status whenever it happens. But it's got a side escape door. It's got the upgraded 5200 pound axles, upgraded aluminum. It's a 030 whatever whatever and it's got the triple tube extended tongue dovetail winch plate blackout package there's a few other like random stuff it's got all the rv style door latches and stuff like that well we got the tire swap back on the trailer so now i'm going to show you guys how to avoid this in the future let me show you guys what what i have this is your first time watching one of our videos this is Alice, the RV for the channel. We've got a full RV section on our YouTube channel. If you go to the playlist, you'll see like all of our RV videos. We take her everywhere. We do a bunch of trips, Mustang Week, Pigeon Forge, Michigan Woodward Dream Cruise. Anywhere we go, we take Alice. RV. It's starting to rain, but right here is what we're gonna basically put on. What it is, it's a tire pressure monitoring system. It's Guta, I guess that's how you say it. I mean, you can use this on a truck or anything just because there's a picture of an RV on there does not mean it would have to be on an RV. It's set up to where you can have the RV and a trailer with up to multiple, I can't, I don't know how many sets of tires you can have. So you could actually use this on a semi. It's just a um, valve stem cap. I'm gonna open this thing up right here on the dash of the RV because it is raining outside. You can't really tell. Full open box for you guys. And these are the uh, valve stem sensors, and the cord, and this is, I guess, the uh, transmitter. We'll have to look at the instructions. There's a little suction cup for the screen. It looks like we got four more sensors in the bottom. So we've got the six for the RV, the four for the trailer. Just like little stickers, I guess you can put on the sensor to like number them. So it's got the T for trailer. The key to having this is while you're driving, you can avoid a uh, tire blowout because if you see that, because I believe this also gives you tire temperature as well. I'm not sure. Yeah, it does. It, so it gives you tire temperature. So if you can see a tire is getting hot or uh, the tire pressure is low, because most likely that's what my issue was. My tire pressure was probably low on that tire and it blew out because I checked the other tires and the other tires were kind of low. Keeping an eye on them with uh, a monitor like this will help avoid the issue that we had because, I mean, it could pretty much turn a fun road trip into a long day. So I did pop this one open and there is a little battery that just slides out. That's kind of nice, you can change the battery because I was kind of like wondering why they're a little bit bulky. I was doing a little bit of research on them and a lot of people were saying that the battery life on these are a lot better and that's probably why they're so bulky compared to some of the other tire pressure sensors came with this little tool to kind of get it on there tight and there's like a rubber o-ring in there to kind of keep water out it's got a charge cable turn it on like it just you can either do was it psi or bar we're gonna go with psi for your temperature you can do celsius or fahrenheit it's set okay so that's like your warning like so like if it gets too hot but you know what i was thinking let's say you're driving down the road and you start having like uh other issues not even tire related like your brakes or anything like that or just something else going wrong wheel bearing anything and they start heating up you'll probably see that on here which is kind of cool uh, psi so for the front rv tires i think i put them at 95 or 105 we'll just do 100 and then just hit set all right oh it's not so bad there it goes. So we're gonna put another one on this side. That one's already that one's already flashing, so we're gonna go ahead. There it goes. Still figuring this out. So there's an easier way of doing this. Basically, go around, install all the sensors, then program them. Put these on the trailer now. And here's the tire we just swapped. I gotta clean this trailer. <laughs> It's so dirty. So now that I got all the sensors installed, I'm gonna go ahead and program them. You gotta hold the code button down and then you'll get the code up at the top left of the screen and then it'll flash and you can go through whichever one you wanna program by hitting the plus or minus arrow. So once you get to the sensor that you want, like the outer wheel that which we already programmed, so now I'm gonna go to the next 
which is going to be the inner one so it's FFF so it hasn't been programmed so when I get to it I'll push this so the sensor is right there like that and it programmed it so we'll go to the next one which is the inner wheel on the other side of the RV this one code there we go and then outer wheel there we go so for the trailer so that's going to be this one this back one it's got the little sensor right there there we go that's it yep we got them all in there after you're done shoot i'm getting low tire pressures <laughs> sensors temperature's 53 i got 73 pounds so i'm gonna have to add some air i'm gonna go through and kind of just check everything with a tire pressure gauge and then just see if everything's actually reading correct on here everything's like reading low which the rv has set over winter and normally stuff sets over winter time with the cold you tend to lose a lot of air so we're gonna add some air to it and uh just go from there because i got one of the trailer tires at 49. okay so we got the little mount so we're gonna mount it in here which is which is cool it doesn't need to be plugged in you can just charge this thing which that makes it like that much better this after looking at the instructions all this is is a repeater i'm not gonna use it i'm gonna see how it works without it because this is for like rigs if it's like really long because you can essentially use these on semi trucks we may not need this repeater being that I'm inside the RV right now and the trailer is in my front yard. You can either use a suction cup or it even came with a little base that you can screw in. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a really strong two-sided adhesive. So I actually had, <laughs> I do this all the time. I, I actually had to go back to one of my old videos, the video where my buddy Chuck and I, we installed the tires on the RV. Look at that video to see exactly what tire pressure I put in these and I knew it was around between 90 and 105 or something like that but it was 95 so we put 95 pounds I think the max was like 120 or something like that we got about 82 so we're gonna put it up to about 90 we're just gonna add 95 pounds in here the max PSI on these tires are 110 that is the only tire I'd ever run on a motorhome is a Michelin 72 so it's a uh, <laughs> no it might be a little less now we'll go I am reading... I'm reading like 68. Probably pretty accurate. So it was reading zero. Now it's reading 69. There we go. That's a good number. So that gauge read 68. All right. So we're pretty accurate. What's nice too is it actually illuminates. So I'll probably like mount it like right here somewhere. Probably should have put this thing on so much sooner. Can't believe I waited this long to put this on the RV. This could have saved our butt. Yeah, we could have avoided that whole situation and ordeal. But... It is what it is. We live, we learn, and now this will basically keep us a lot safer on the road. Well, I'm going to bring this video to a wrap, and I hope that this video could actually help some of you guys in the future to avoid the issue that I had. If you guys want to check this product out, I will put the Amazon link in the description below. So if you guys are interested, just check in the description there will be a link to this exact product that i have here hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys in the next video peace